Good morning. I hope you are doing well. I just wanted to remind you that whatever you have gone through and whatever state you're in now, you can use that for the glory of God because he can work through you even if you aren't as as you once were because you've been through a lot whatever that may be i just want to reach out to those people who feel like life has beat them up in some way i really want to reach out to them today and say that no matter what you think you lack no matter what you think your inhibitions are um, If you know and remember that God has counted every hair on your head and he's very close and with you, you can be a living testament to the fact that God can still and always will still have a great interest in making great importance out of your little life for his glory. And um, if he can work through you, he can work through anybody. So live with that in mind, that if he can work through you, he can work through anybody. I was very uh, momentarily discouraged in eighth grade many, many years ago when I thought, gee, if St. Therese of the Zoo was so holy at that age, how in the world could I ever, you know? And, uh, well, I heard this quote at that time from St. Francis of Assisi. I think it could be some other saint. You know my saint quotes get out of order. But it was said that he said, if God could work through me, he could work through anybody. That might be St. Nicholas as well. But I think it's St. Francis. That makes sense. He said, if God can work through me, it is proof then that God can work through anybody. So we actually need people who have what they would say is a lot of problems or a lot of setbacks. We need them out proving that the rest of mankind in the same state as them can do the same and achieve the same in holiness and in closeness to God and be at and the, the extent to which you are at the service of God. So don't forget that. Um, be that miracle that no matter what the world can do to somebody and beat them up and whatnot, that you can come back just the same in God and be very powerful uh, witness to the proper end of every human being and the proper, um, the highest form a human being can achieve by being very close to the original form or former God. So that's all today. Have a uh, wonderful one, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for all the beautiful comments, by the way. They're really very nice, and um, I don't know, I'm just so grateful for the people that have been with me throughout the 10 years and who I've just joined today or recently. You know, it's a beautiful community, and you know, we're all, the church is a hospital, and we're all, you know, imperfect in our own ways and broken in other ways. And it's the beauty of this hospital, the church. You know, those flaws make it so beautiful because God says, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So, and it's a great witness to the world. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. And remember, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Whatever it is you have to do today. All right. Bye-bye.